Okay, I had an issue with trying to uh, charge a battery, a uh, cordless drill battery, out in the middle of nowhere. And it turned out this charger is real sensitive to the kind of input or the uh, waveform, and it only likes a pure sine inverter. So I ordered a uh, uh, Wagon Elite 180, and I own this uh, ProWatt 1000. I've got a Harbor Freight 750 watt up here and I ended up with a Sandflex 300 all to try to run this or you know just, just trying to figure out what's going to run this battery charger so right now I got this uh, kilowatt meter which will give you volts um, hertz watts I've got it plugged into the wall and I'm going to show you a couple loads on it first to be just a little fluorescent light so it's 11 watt light let's say 60 hertz basically and the walls at a 112. I'm going to plug the battery charger into this and show you what happens next. Okay, the uh, over watts, and if you watch the uh, indicator lights over here, okay, it's a brand new battery. Uh, it's been used once, it goes straight to charge. The fully charged light is not lit up, and I'm sitting here drawing 40. 41 watts. That's what it drew when I plugged it in, and that's what it'll draw until the thing charges up. Alright. Now, I'll, we'll try this on the first inverter. I'm going to pull the extension cord out of the wall and plug it over here into this uh, the Harbor Freight inverter after I fire it up. Okay. So, we got 115 114, by the way, the Harbor Freight one is a uh, 750 watt. Um, plug the light in first, real quick. Uh, for whatever reason, it won't read the hertz, and I guess that's because the waveform is kind of whacked out. So there's the watts. Here's what it does with the light. Light comes on nice and bright, showing about 10 watts draw, 8 to 10 watts draw and the inverter itself is making no strange noises or nothing like that. So now we'll try the battery charger. Okay. And watch the uh, charge lights. Okay, see it goes straight to blinking, fully charged. So it's not doing anything and then the kilowatt meter dropped out. So the Harbor Freight definitely is not going to work. Next thing I'm going to do is turn the Harbor Freight off. I'll turn on my pro watt, and this thing has uh, got a good reputation for really having a good sine wave, being a, a true pure sine inverter. Um, okay, we're getting 122, 123, shows about 59.9 hertz. Switch over to watts. Uh, battery charger's plugged in, so let's just go ahead and do the battery charger first. If you watch the uh, um, fully charged and the charge lights, and at the same time the amount of current draw acts just like the wall, goes to about 42 watts there. The charge light just went straight to charge. Nothing unusual there. Okay. Plug in the little fluorescent light. Nothing strange there. Any light at 11 watts, good to go. Alright, now we're going to try this Wagon Elite. Turn off this one. Get it plugged up here to the battery. Okay, just got powered up. This one's just a little hard to plug in. Especially one handed. Alright. Plugged in. We got about 117 volts. It's showing 59.7, so it's a little off on the, the hertz. Over to the watts. Uh, go ahead and do the light first. And 11 to 12 watts. Plenty of light. The inverter's not making any noise, doing anything strange. Now I'll plug in the battery charger. Okay. 
Watch the lights on the battery charger. Shows it is fully charged, so it's not working. Only pulling a couple, three uh, watts. And so the wagon just does not work with this battery charger. Alright, last but not least, we'll go with the Sam's Lex. Get it all hooked up. Turn this guy off. First, 12 watts, and you light over there, and battery charger next. Okay, watch the lights, indicator lights, and the meter. You can hear it buzzing, it goes up to 80. It is showing a charge, but for some reason, it's taking more amps for the thing to run. Now I watch this thing and what will happen is it will start dropping off up here and the charge light will come on, see just like it did, and then after a little while it will come back up. So for some reason it's cycling back and forth. There's a little buzz going on in the charger more than anything, um, so I think it's not really liking what's going on in there, but it is trying to work, so I'm going to find out for sure if it will charge this battery or not. Um, Took a took some work to try to figure all this out. I do want to say thanks to uh, the guys over at uh, Boat and RV Accessories. I ordered one inverter and uh, the wagon and didn't like it, and then they worked me uh, worked worked out an exchange, and I'm getting ready to send this one back and keep that one. So uh, thanks for your uh, thanks for their help, and I hope you guys. Uh, Maybe learned a little something about maybe why things don't work. 